you fairly and accurately tell them what your injuries were? I have no idea. Did you tell them that you had been assaulted by your husband after being in an, an argument? I have no idea. I don't recall at all. I don't have any recollection of AMR. So refresh your recollection? No, it does not. Isn't it true that you sent the email that says they requested more photos of my face and body, told them no and not to visit me? Did you make that statement to police? Not that I recall. They requested to access my medical records by signing a waiver granting them access to use in court, and I told them no. Do you remember making that statement? No, I don't recall that. They asked for a discussion about what my diagnosis is other than a broken nose. I told them I would not be discussing anything with them. Do you remember sending that? No, I do not. They asked for a statement of the evening and some details around when and how my daughter found me. I repeated that I have nothing to say and was going to end the call. Do you remember making that statement? No, I do not. And it's your testimony here today that even though this is from your email address to his parents' address, that it's not from you? No, that's not what I said. What as I said, I have no recollection or recall even uh, anything about that. I don't even have any memory of it. Now, was it your testimony that while you were in the hospital, you conducted business for Stuart Smith or that you did not? I don't have any memory when I was in the hospital. Do you recall telling the officer that you weren't going to cooperate with the investigation until this large business deal was closed because you had a lot of money at stake? I do not recall. Do you recall your daughter assisting you at the hospital and preventing the officers from interviewing you so that you can conduct this business deal? No, I do not. Do you recall contacting Bonnie and Larry Smith and speaking with them about this business deal? No, I do not. Does it refresh your recollection? That's the question, ma'am. My recollection of what? Does it refresh your recollection with regards to the questions asked during the defense interview? Yes or no? I would say that no. Okay. Did you claim that you invested a million dollars into my client's business? You told me I said that in the hospital. I don't have any memory of that hospital at all. Did you state in the defense interview that you invested significant amounts of money in my client's business? I don't recall that, but I have invested. Okay. So can you tell us um, what happened when you went into Jordan's room? I don't recall um, I remember going into his room and you actually didn't write the Smith affidavits for, for several weeks didn't you uh, let's see what the date says it says the 25th so it was actually 22 days later not immediately after the event is that correct it was the first thing that I wrote afterwards. When you say you wrote afterwards, you mean when you got out of the hospital? Yes, I was in the hospital for uh, two weeks. Isn't it true that you're actually in the hospital for two days? No, that's not correct. Isn't it true that you were released on June 5th? And that I was readmitted for another week. Isn't it true that you weren't readmitted until June 17th? I don't recall. And then you were released three days later, June 20th? I don't recall. So you don't actually know this writing didn't occur until after your second stay at the hospital and not close to the event. Isn't that correct? It's the first thing that I wrote after the event. Do you remember what happened after you called 911? I don't. Do you remember if your daughter came home at any point? Um, since I've heard the recordings, um, I do know that she did come home. Um, I don't remember her coming home. Okay. So your, your knowledge now is that you, you don't have a memory after the call? 
That's correct. Okay. Um, do you remember going to the hospital? I don't. Do you remember Officer Young coming to speak with you at the hospital the next day? No, I don't. Do you remember Detective Aldridge coming to speak with you on June 5th? I don't. And again, Ms. Smith, did you um, put oil on your face to highlight the colors of these injuries? No. Do you have an explanation as to why it's so shiny? No. <clears throat> Would you agree with me today that your face is not shiny? I don't know. I haven't looked at my face. And so, what, if anything, did you do prior to taking these photographs of yourself? Just take the photograph. Make sure my hair wasn't in the way. 